Hi everyone, so we are still in section 1.4 and we're on video number two and we're going to be talking about bisecting an angle. So you remember you did some research on bisect, the word bisect the other day and we looked at segment bisectors. Well now we're going to bisect an angle. So you might remember the word bi means two and when we section, we're going to section it off. So bisecting an angle means to cut an angle into two equal parts. To two equal parts. Okay, so the definition of an angle bisector is actually if a ray is an angle bisector, then it cuts the angle into two congruent angles. Two congruent angles. And remember, we're allowed to flip it around. Um, and in class, we talked about that. That's called the converse. If a ray cuts an angle, into two congruent angles, then it is an angle bisector, okay? So this ray right here, remember a ray has one endpoint goes on forever. So this ray, if it is an angle bisector, then it's going to cut this angle and this angle into two congruent parts. So I'm going to mark them congruent with the congruent marks. That's how I would mark my diagram with my given. All right, so let's talk about that. So if RT bisects angle QRS, now I didn't give you a picture, did I? So that means I'm going to draw one. So I'm going to draw angle QRS. So, and it doesn't have to be to scale. It really doesn't. So I'm going to just draw an angle. I'm going to put my Q. Remember the R is the vertex, the one in the middle. So the R would have to be right here. There's that vertex, the tip or the bottom of the V. Okay. Then it says RT bisects it. So I'm going to draw a ray in it. I'm going to put a T on it. It bisects it, so I'm going to mark the two angles congruent to each other. So I make those little arcs and put the hash mark. All right, then it says given that measure of QRS is 60 degrees, so the whole angle is 60 degrees, what are the measures of QRT and TRS? Well, if they're equal, then I take 60 and I divide it by 2 and I'm going to get 30 degrees. So each of these angles is 30 degrees. Its measure is 30 degrees. All right, well, what about if I do algebra? Okay, again, I don't have a diagram, so I'm going to draw one for myself. So I'm drawing angle JKL. So I'm remember the definition of angle, two rays that meet at a common place called the vertex. I'm going to label J, K, and L. Okay, um, it says, KM bisects it, so I'm going to draw an angle bisector. I'm going to put M on my bisector, and then I'm going to mark my diagram with my two congruent angles. All right, so it says the measure of the two congruent angles are 2x plus 7, so I'm going to mark that, 2x plus 7, and 4x minus 41. All right, find the measures of JKM and MKL. Well, remember, if angles are congruent, then they have equal measure. So that means that I can write an equation. I can say that 2x plus 7 equals 4x minus 41. All right, so now I'm going to solve for x. So I'll do my algebra, subtract 2x on both sides, and I'm going to, let's see, add 41 on both sides. So that's going to give me 48 equals 2x and I'm going to solve for x. And so x equals 24. But hey, wait, Coach Fred. I don't want x. I want to find the measures of jkm and mkl. All right, so now i got to do some more work. So I'm going to pick one of them. Because they're equal, I just have to find one. So I'm going to do jkm because those numbers are a little bit smaller. So I'm going to substitute x in for um, 24 in for x and simplify the expression. So 2 times 24 gives me 48. 48 plus 7 gives me 55 degrees. So both of them have equal measure, so they are both 55 degrees. All right. Last thing I want to look at is naming congruent parts. Now remember, we talked about the fact that those hash marks tell me what's congruent. Now that we've thrown in angles, I'm going to mark these angles right here with hash marks. Okay. 
And I want to remind you that that box means that these are 90 degree angles. We don't have to put hash marks in 90 degree angles. All right, so we know that AB is congruent to AC. We know that BD is congruent to DC, I'm using my segment symbol. And we know that angle B, oops, angle B is congruent to angle C. We also know that angle ADB and angle ADC are congruent, but I want to make sure that you see those congruent marks, how they line up with each other. All right, so what I want you to do and bring to class tomorrow is example six. Now, I want you to put a hash mark here and here on your diagram, and I want you to find the measure of angle RST. Now, you got to remember, look for straight angles. That's my only hint. See you tomorrow.